Hello everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll be teaching you how to have your own Skyblock server to play with friends. So for this, in Minecraft Bedrock we're going to need to download the world, okay? And I've chosen this one, I'll leave it in the description. Anyway, you can go to mcpdl.com and search for Skyblock, okay? And you'll find it or you'll find very similar maps. So I've chosen the classic one, we're going to download it, click on it, tell it we're not a robot, try to get through the capture as quickly as possible, and basically once we've verified the capture, we'll be able to access what would be the map download, okay? Okay, there it is, the file is ready and we can finally download it, we click save, and now what we're going to do is go to Eternos and create a new account on Eternos. Okay, it's super simple, the website is called Eternos.org. And it's super easy to set up a page, all we need is a Google account, and we're done. They won't ask us for anything. It's all completely free. So we're headed over here, okay, in the software section, and what we're going to do is click on change. Rather than selecting vanilla, what we're going to choose is bedrock edition. We'll pick the standard bedrock, and we're going to pick the latest version or the version we want to play. Also, we need to take account of the world version. This world, I'm not sure what version it's in, I don't know if it states it. Oh, it does. It's 1.17, okay? So, from version 1.17 onward, okay? Don't play on version 1.16 because you won't be able to use the world. Then we go to settings, we go to the difficulty section, we select heart, we apply the required resource pack, activate it, and that's it. Also, we'll add in the world section, okay? And in the world section, we'll click upload and switch to .zip format. Okay, here's the trick. As you can see, this is the trick. Well, this is called Mammoth World, so what we're going to do is to change it to .zip, okay? We're going to change the .mac world to zip, therefore when we click upload and choose the .zip, we'll double click and there it is, the world has been uploaded. And now in this section, well it seemed like that's it, the world has been uploaded, now we go to the server and click start, okay? So well for that, we're going to open Minecraft Metro now, we're going to start opening it, so when the server is ready, what we're going to do to access the server is, well, we have the IP and the port here, okay? Or we can simply copy this link and paste it. Well, this link wasn't, sorry, we can copy this link, okay? Copy and paste it into the browser and Minecraft will open, automatically adding the server, okay? Here we have the server. So, um, now we wait for the server to open, which doesn't take too long, so we'll pause for a bit. Great, the server has opened already, so we're going to go to Minecraft Metro. As you can see, the server is already live. We're going in, and as you can see, it's letting us in, okay? Well, from here, it doesn't let us in, okay? We entered through the friends section, so we're going to try to enter from the server section to see if we have more luck this time. There it is. It's locating the server, and perfect, it's joined, okay? I tried to access it from the friends section, and, well, it's more complicated, but that's it. Access from the server section, and it works. Well, here we have a few of the challenges. We have the world already created, right? So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. And this is a server, okay? I don't really know how to prove it. Well, we can invite people to the game and... Uh, look, I can basically prove it because I'm a member. I'm not an operator. If I had created this world, I would be the operator myself. But I'm just a member, okay? So that's all I have to say. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.